Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, and we're at the gorgeous indoor facility at the Royal Quebec Golf Club. And uh, we started uh, our winter series with a big bang. We're having a blast with our students and uh, really enjoyed the coverage of the Mayakoba this weekend. Um, Danny Lee was a real hot topic of conversation with uh, Brandel Chambly. Uh, he had noticed, because he's a numbers guy, he noticed that he went from uh, over 100, he was over 140th on tour just three years ago in distance. And now he is number seven, Danny Lee, number seven in distance. Way to go, George Gankus. And there is where we do our, our work amazingly well because, you know, for the last 25 years, we've been talking about how you need to use your legs to generate the speed. And Brandel Chambly, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that, that insightful analysis. Brandel's talking about how we extend up into the backswing so that we can come down to go get the ground and therefore have a better use of the ground to propel our swing towards the target. And if you look at an oldie of mine, but a goodie, it's called Create Serious Speed, Sean Clement, and you'll see that well over 10 years ago, when people thought I was crazy, they were talking about, oh no, you don't want your head bobbing up and down. That's really bad. You're bad for, you know, for your distance and bad for your contact and ooh, be careful, watch out. Whereas we are bilateral machines. We're actually built to do what Danny Lee is now doing and what George Gankus is teaching. So, Here's your center of gravity. If I want to walk forward, I can't lead with my leg and pull myself forward. Notice I, I advance my leg, my leg goes into the air. I literally have to fall forward in order to take a step. So that center of gravity has to come down and then the, the swing of my arms brings me back up and you'll notice that when I'm walking around, my head's bopping up and down. So if I swing back and through without stopping here, and I'm just cutting grass, which is one of our favorite activities, notice how my head's bobbing up and down, but my club is still cutting the grass in both directions very, very accurately. I am very employable as a grass cutting machine, and so are you, all right? So if we look at a real easy exercise here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss out on all the good stuff, right? So click the bell too to get notified every time we put out a video, which is a couple times a week. Look at a ball on a string. You take that ball on a string and you give it to gravity and you'll notice that the only way the ball gets to stay moving is if your hand is moving up and down. Well, I can do this with my legs, can I? You see how I'm using my legs to keep that ball going and it's just like a kid on a swing. You're standing up on the swing, you want to go higher, you know exactly when to pump that swing to give it that velocity. And that's what Danny Lee just finally discovered. So instead of being careful and trying to maintain his levels, we're blowing that sucker out of the water and now we're gathering up into the backswing because if I want this ball to go up in the air, I literally have to pull upwards on it. See that? So it's like a lumberjack when he's got an, an ax in his hands and he wants to cut down the tree. Get my golf measurement here. So I heave the ax. Notice how I'm coming up because I need to not only move my body out of the way to gather that sucker, but as I'm doing that, I'm also coming up. Now, what happens is the, the brain it wants to cut through that dandelion stem or deliver the ax to the base of the tree where it meets the ground. It needs to come back down to use the ground to deliver the weight of the ax. And so this is so important for you to understand. When you're dealing with the weight of your arms and club, 
your brain can now react to that. Let me get my favorite tool. Hey guys, just pop it on real quick to let you know we got a new fitness and nutrition blog on our website at wisdomandgolf.com. You don't want to miss those. They're coming out weekly. Munashe and Savannah are doing an amazing job on that. And it's either a four pound hammer from Home Depot or a six pound sledgehammer. Now, if I wanted to heave that sucker into the net here, notice how I have to heave it into the backswing. See that? Let it float up and then heave it into the net. So you notice how I have to use my legs to get it going and then use the legs again to deliver it. So you actually have a dual kinetic chain in the golf swing. And that is so important for you to understand. So not only for power, but for accuracy as well. And we're so well designed for that. So I feel the weight of my arm club unit here, gather and really use my legs to deliver that sucker. And I just had an eight iron in my hands. And let's have a little bit of fun here, right? So here's a 54 year old geezer, 181 yard eight iron. Yes, this is an eight iron. It's a blade. These are standard lofted clubs. So we're looking at ball speed at 122 miles an hour, carry 180. And we're looking at 144 peak height. Nice little draw. So how's that, right? And this is why. So if you look at my carry distance with the driver is easily 285 to 295. And I consistently hit the ball well over 300 yards, which is now what Danny Lee is doing. He was hitting at average 290 and now he's well over 300 yards. He's like 320, number seven on tour. Way to go. This is how we, we move things forward in the game of golf. And I'm so proud of George. I'm so proud of Danny Lee and all of the guys on tour that are now, you know, getting rid of their shackles. And this is going to be extremely beneficial for the rest of us. So all the best. We'll see you next week. Thank you.